What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech. If you guys have Google TV, you probably really love it. But sometimes things happen where you get no picture, no audio. Sometimes the remote don't work. Maybe you wanna connect your headphones. I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot many common issues with the Google Chromecast. I'm also gonna show you three ways how to reset the Google Chromecast with Google TV. This is the ultimate troubleshooting guide for the Chromecast with Google TV. Now, if you want the Chromecast with Google TV to work the best, plug in directly to the TV. And always use the original cables and power adapter. You can plug it into the USB port on your TV to power the Chromecast, but since it supports 4K, it needs a little extra power. This power adapter is a five volt, 1.5 amp power adapter. Now, if your TV USB port is only five volt, one amp, it won't be enough power to power the Chromecast. So let's see if it works. If you get the sound on your TV, you don't have sufficient power coming out of the TV USB port to power the Chromecast. So you have to use the power adapter. This is basically an error message telling you, you need to use the power adapter. All right, that is plugged in and the light will turn orange at first and then turn solid white. Solid white light lets you know that it's working. Now, if you get a black screen, first thing you wanna do is make sure you're on the correct TV input. Make sure you check the input where the Chromecast is plugged in and switch to that TV input. You also wanna check and see if it's plugged in all the way and check your connections, your power connection and the HDMI connection. After you switch to the correct TV input on the TV, and you still don't have a picture, you wanna unplug it, wait five seconds, and then plug it back in. This will recycle the audio and picture. The next step I would do is hard reset the Chromecast by simply unplugging the power cable for 30 seconds, a full 30 seconds. So everything can discharge out of the circuit, and then you wanna reboot it by, and then simply plug it in, You'll have the orange light for about five seconds and it will turn solid white after five seconds, letting you know you have a good connection. Everything should be working properly after that. Now, if you want to manually update on the Google Chromecast, you want to go ahead and go to settings and then go down to system. Go ahead and select about and select system update and check for update. All right, we are up to date. Now, if you want to pair your headphones or you're having issues pairing your headphones, this is how to do it. You wanna go down to remotes and select that, and then go ahead and start pairing. Select that, and now it's in pairing mode. Press and hold the power button to enter pairing mode on the Bluetooth headphones. You wanna make sure the headphones are nearby within three feet of the Google Chromecast. All right, let's put it in pairing mode. All right, that was real quick actually. And as you can see, it's turning red and blue, red and blue, that lets you know it's in pairing mode. And then select the Bluetooth headset. So now we're gonna select pair. And it is saying connected, or connecting right now. It's not connected yet. All right, now it's paired. It's best to use a low latency Bluetooth headphones so you don't have the delay or the audio video delay on the remote if you raise the volume the volume is going to increase on the bluetooth headphones now when you turn off the headphones it should automatically toggle to the tv volume so let's see if that works so the bluetooth headphones are turned off clear from corn so it works right away so from this point on if you turn on the Bluetooth headphones, it should automatically connect. You don't have to pair them, it just automatically connects. Now, if you're still having a hard time connecting your Bluetooth headphones to the Google Chromecast, what I suggest doing is disconnect it to any device that it's connected to, like your phone or any other device, and then pair it to the Google Chromecast. Make sure you remove any Bluetooth device nearby that can cause interference with the Google Chromecast pairing to the Bluetooth headset. Another quick way to pair Bluetooth devices to the Chromecast is simply tapping on to this button right here. Just tap on it. And when you tap on that button, it'll automatically be in Bluetooth search mode. Now, if, you ha if you're having a lot of issues with your 
Google Chromecast remote. It's not working or sometimes it's working, sometimes it's not. What you can do is simply remove the batteries for about 30 seconds and then make sure they're facing the correct way. They both face up actually. Yeah, they both face up and see if that works and fixes the issue. If it doesn't, make sure you put fresh batteries in. Sometimes it's just low batteries may cause weird issues with the remote. If you dropped your remote, maybe you have a defective remote and the sensor is bad. To check the sensor, you can use a digital camera and you can actually see the infrared sensor in there. When we hit volume up and down, that's gonna set off the infrared sensor. The human eye can't see infrared. Only a digital camera can. So make sure you use a digital camera on your phone to check and see if that sensor is bad. Now, if the sensor looks weak and you have a very dim light in there, then swap out the batteries because your batteries are weak. Now, if you use the up and down right here, that's using a different technology. I believe it's Bluetooth. If you're still having an issue with your Google Chromecast or the remote, what you can do is factory reset it. Now, there's three ways to reset it. A hard reset is when you unplug the power for 30 seconds, that's a hard reset. That won't delete anything from the Google Chromecast. That just basically clears up the cache memory. Now, another way to reset is a factory reset in settings. Now, I really don't suggest doing that because if your remote's not working, then obviously that, <laughs> that won't work. You won't be able to do that. Now, there is a way to force factory reset it by pressing and holding the button down. So press and hold the button down. It will turn orange and start flashing. After the light turns white, then you can release. And it factory reset right there. So now it's erasing all your personal data. Now, if it doesn't work after this, then I highly suggest contacting Google support team or returning this device. If it's within 30 days, you can return it at the store for a new Google Chromecast. All right, so now that we're fully factory restored, what we could do is press back and the home button for three seconds. And now we're paired. If you don't have the Google Chromecast with Google TV, I highly suggest it. It works awesome. It's 4K compatible for your 4K TV and it has a lot of smart features. It works for sound bars. You, you can connect Bluetooth headphones to it. It's really awesome and I'm sure you will love it. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you know anyone that owns a Google Chromecast, go ahead and click on the share button below, share this video to them, help someone out. Subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos.